Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Steven Kinchelik and in this video I'll be going over how to move your license from one computer to another. Now many of our users are in this situation where they've got a new computer and they need to move their Movie Magic budgeting or scheduling from the old computer to the new one. And a lot of people try and copy the whole program over from one computer to the next. But based on how the licensing works, that often doesn't have favorable results. So I'm going to show you how to properly deactivate and move that license over to the new computer. I'll also show you some tips on how to look up information such as your contact info and the licensing info. Okay, so I'm going to go through moving a license of Movie Magic Scheduling on a Mac to another computer. Now, this works for both uh, Movie Magic Scheduling and Budgeting, same workflow. And it's the same workflow whether it's uh, Mac or PC. And you can go from Mac to PC or Mac to Mac, PC to PC, and, and so forth. So, when we're moving a license, the first thing you want to do is deactivate it. You don't just want to uninstall it because sometimes that will, you will lose the license. So you want to deactivate it first. So what you have to do is you have to open the application. So I've got Movie Magic Scheduling open. I'll close this window. And uh, just so you know, if you go up to uh, Scheduling About on Windows, it's Help About. And it'll have your activation ID here. That's one way you can look up your activation ID. And that's just for informational purposes. I'm just kind of showing you that. You can also go up to Help, Licensing, License Details. And it'll bring up your, um, your activation ID here. If you haven't updated your contact info in a little while, you can update your contact info from here. That may be helpful if you need to, if it's got an old email address. You want to make sure you've got the most updated email address in there because um, it's going to send you an email once you deactivate, and we're going to go through that in a second. So to deactivate the license, you're going to go to Help, Licensing, Deactivate. It's going to say, are you sure you want to deactivate? Because it won't run after you do so. I'm going to click yes. And it's going through, and it's done. And now it gives you the activation window, because if it's not activated, it will shut down, which we will go through here. If I close, it's saying it will now shut down. OK, so Movie Magic's now shut down. So now we've deactivated. And you're going to get an email that looks a little bit like this. Um, you know, it says you've deactivated and it has your activation ID. Keep this handy, print it if you need, if you're moving to another computer, but you're going to need that activation ID. It's the same one you had uh, in your original um, activation email or on your card in the box, but um, that's handy, so keep that nearby. So now we've got uh, deactivated. What you may want to do is also uninstall it. Um, that's if you're, you know, getting rid of this computer, it may not be necessary, but uh, you can do that by going to Applications, and then finding the Movie Magic uh, folder, going to your scheduling folder. Again, this works the same for budgeting. And then go to this Uninstaller Data folder, and there should be this application called Uninstall Movie Magic Scheduling. So you'll go ahead and run that, and it'll go through uninstalling the whole application, and then you can delete the folder if there's anything left over. So, with that done, you've got everything clean. Now we're going to move over to the new computer. Okay, we're at the new computer. Looks exactly the same here, but let's just say this is a new computer. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is get the installer on here. So, we go to the website, our entertainmentpartners.com website, and you can go over to products, and then go over to scheduling. Again, you can just click on budgeting if you're doing this for budgeting. And with the scheduling page, down here you can find the latest updates, and that's always good to just download the latest version. If you've got a box product, you may be the the installer that came with the disk may be a version behind. So it's always good to go to the website and get the latest version. So for Mac users, you click here and it downloads the installer. You'll run the installer and go through that whole process, which was the same as installing originally. With the application installed, and then you launch it. So with the application launch, it'll come up to this uh, screen. I'm going to go ahead and just close it, and it'll check for the license. And without license there, you're going to need to activate. So you'll click on Activate License. This is where that email comes in handy. We're going to go over to that uh, confirmation of deactivation. I'm going to copy the activation ID by hitting Command C, Control C on Windows. Going back over to this license wizard and hitting Command V, Control V on Windows. So that's pasted in there. I'm going to hit Next. And it brings up my 
license information. I just confirm everything in here, make sure it's okay. Hit next. Confirm any additional information. It's all good. Hit next. And finish. And now it lets me know that I've been activated and all my license details. So I can go ahead and close this and get started on working on a schedule. So again, the steps for moving a license is you want to deactivate the old license. You can uninstall it. If you're wiping a hard drive, you don't have to uninstall it, but deactivate that license first. Then go to the new computer, download the latest version, and activate it. Don't try, especially on a Mac, don't try and just copy everything over. It'll break the license. So you want to deactivate first and then activate.